Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start with information. These are some updates on the NAR. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, dinar opinions, and dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Barzani and Sadani both attending big meetings this evening. And they say they wanted to talk to us. Could this be it? Is this the talk? I don't know but I do know. These two leaders are about to take you and your country into the new reforms that they have been promising you. It is now being revealed to you. Pay attention to when these two gentlemen talk. Because, your media will not even show it to you, your media is owned by the Iranian politicians. They don't want you to have anything that has been promised to you. The results from the meeting number one was having with the CBI these last few weeks. All of that information is now coming to the citizens to be revealed. That's happening right now. A massive campaign of education to the citizens. This phase is talking to the citizens. Article, Prime Minister's Advisor, we will see the dollar fall on the black market soon. Quote, the political advisor to the Prime Minister, Fadi al-Shamari, pointed out that Iraq agreed with the U.S. Treasury on a road map. That includes a third party represented by an international consulting company to audit the procedures of the sanctioned banks. And its decisions are binding on the U.S. Treasury. Shocking documents from Iraq's Federal Board of Supreme Audit have uncovered a massive corruption scheme. Over 151,000 citizens were involved in the illicit buying of U.S. currency. They, obtained dollars at the official state rate for travel purposes but never left the country. The black market refers to them as ghost travelers. We are thinking the Iraqis sold the dollars for more money than they invested. As a result of the corruption Iraq's central bank employees, private banks, currency exchange companies and tourism firms were all involved. This is a $600 million corruption scam involving the US dollar. Just off the phone with some 3 LTRS, super excited would be an understatement. If we continue as planned, we have just a few hours left. I got a feeling, tonight's gonna be a good, good night. We know who the crooks are and they're mad about the concept of floating. They came out yesterday and they told us if the Iraqi dinar starts to float that would be very dangerous. It would be a bad thing for us Iraqi citizens, I guess this float is extremely serious and very important. And something they're about to tell us because parliament hates it. They're a bunch of crooks. When I did the evaluation, of the dinar, it was against countries and currencies that had locked. I had the same questions as you guys when I invested. Where is this going? How can this work? I found out the value was in a policy-based inflation. They want to add value to it, they injected US dollars into the economy, devalued the dinar. The dinar you and I have has nothing to do with hyperinflation, major market problems or anything like that. Yes. They can add value to currencies that have a lot of zeros behind it. Iraqi dinar is stable. They can and are going to add value to it.